In this video, I'm going to show you how to test if an outgoing TCP port is open. And there are actually four different ways that we can do this. The tool that we're going to be using is something called portquiz.net, which it's actually a website. So we can go to that portquiz.net. And what it's going to do when it loads the page is automatically test if port 80 on my MacBook computer here outgoing is open. And because we reached this page, uh, as you can see here on port 80, that means that port on my MacBook is open. So you can actually test any other port. So uh, by going to portquiz.net colon 8080 colon 8 colon 55, whatever you want. Uh, so we'll try that. And that is testing that outgoing port for me on this local computer as well. Now, like I said, there's four other ways that you can do it with the telnet command, the netcat command, the curl command, and the wget command. And I can almost guarantee you that no matter if you're using Windows, Mac, or Linux, that you have one of these commands on your computer. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how each one of these commands works. I'm gonna test it with an open port and a closed port so you know what to expect. And the way we're gonna do that is with a remote Ubuntu server at this IP address. So I'm gonna log into that. And right off the bat, uh, we're gonna check the firewall with UFW status. And there is no firewall active, so that means all outgoing ports should be open, but let's go ahead and confirm that. Let's go to, or let, let's let's type in the command telnet port quiz.net, and let's pick a port, let's say 420, okay? And it says it connected to port quiz on that port at this IP address, the escape character is this, so that means 420 outgoing TCP is open. So we can get out of here by doing the uh, up caret and then close square bracket, hit enter, and that'll take us back to the command line. Now, let's try netcat next. That's nc-v portquiz.net and same port 420. Connection to port quiz 420 succeeded. So that means that port, another way to check it is open. So we'll get back to our command line here and we'll try the third one. So curl portquiz.net colon 420 and it says port test successful. So 420 is open as well. And then let's try the last one. So that's a wget dash Q, it looks like a capital O, dash port quiz dot net colon 420. And port test successful, same type of thing. Now, what I'm gonna do with the firewall is close port 420 so that we can see what the different behavior looks like with a closed port. So we can do uh, UFW enable. Uh, yep, we want to enable it. And then we want to do UFW deny out 420. So that's gonna close the outgoing port for 420. We can just confirm that UFW status again. And it says uh, port 420 on IPv4 and IPv6 are denied going out. So let's try those commands again. So we'll go back up here to the first one, which was the telnet command. We're not gonna see any type of connection. It's just gonna hang there for a while. Um, so we know that that port is closed now. Let's try the other one, which was netcat. Same type of thing, just hang in there. That means the port is closed. Do the third one with curl. We get a hang. And then the last one, just for good measure, which is wget, it's just gonna hang because it's closed. So just a couple of interesting things here. Um, the largest port that you can test is this port right here. So it's 65,535. So if we tried that on this machine, which that is open because we did not explicitly block it, uh, we'll see that that was connection. That's that was successful. Your port test was successful. Uh, but if we go one higher than that, okay, if we go to 65,536, it's gonna say bad illegal format or missing URL. That just means that the maximum supported port is 65,535. Uh, we can try as low as one and that works. But something that I found interesting, um, if you go back to your web browser and you know, if we try 65,535 in here, that will work but if we try port one in here it's not going to work and the reason for that is because um google chrome actually if you're using google chrome by default blocks that and if you look at the source code for uh, google chrome you'll actually see that they have a list of ports that they restrict 
in Google Chrome web browser. So I just thought that was interesting. Um, if you like this type of stuff, I have another video right here, which will tell you how to test incoming ports to see if they're open. And I also have another video which will explain how to scan for open ports. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you over there.